By the way, the Patriots just extended uh, Shaq Mason on a 10-year extension. Big move for them, and they're one of their uh, marquee parts of their offensive line. Was that an act? Was that a ten-year extension, or was that five five-year fifty million? Five-year ten a year extension. So I guess Brady should be happy about that, right? I mean, that sounds like something you should be happy about. <laughs> and he hung up on EEI today. I mean, he's in <laughs> he's in postseason form right now. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, that, you know, so. My sense on the, I mean, the Alex Guerrero thing was kind of funny, but my sense on that, Rich, yes. is you ever had this situation where, like, someone is irrationally angry with you and you're like, man, this doesn't make any sense. The only way it makes sense, and then you figure out that their bosses got angry at them, so then they got angry at you, right? I would imagine that at some point Tom Brady was told, like, look, let's just not. We're not going to get into it again. I'm sure he would like to talk about it. Um, he talked about it plenty in the past. I think right now there's probably some sort of nudge from somewhere inside the Patriots facility. Like, look, can we just not talk about it this year? Thanks. Well, I mean, the first time that Brady uh, ended a press conference uh, on the subject of his trainer, Alex Guerrero, uh, and TV 12 partner, Alex Guerrero, uh, happened in his first in, uh, press availability of training camp. When your, your colleague, I think it was Ben Volin of, uh, of, uh, of the Boston Globe, connected Guerrero uh, to uh, Julian yeah. Edelman's suspension. Now, that right there is a third rail uh, implication that Brady ended a press conference over. This was just merely asking, hey, man, uh, he's back on the plane or he's back on the sideline. Are we cool? And that could be basically handled like, yeah, everything's fine. We're good. You know, I'm not here to talk well, and, about and the past. Say, I mean, yeah, it, I mean, he did say he's back on the plane, which he is, by the way. Right. Um but yeah, I mean the the Ben Ben Volan thing, that was a my understanding is that those two issues, Edelman suspension and Guerrero, are not related at all. Um, but I mean, I, you're right. I can certainly understand why Brady would be angry with that implication. Yeah, I really just think he just like I'm done. Like I just I'm not supposed to talk about it. I'm not allowed to talk about it. I'm not going to. And you know, I, I read the transcript from EI. It was like six questions in a row. Now I would never hang up on you for anything, Rich. Thank you. Yeah. But if you ask me six questions or on something I'm not going to answer, I would at least make some sort of a angry, distorted face at you. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.